And the thunderous roar of the crowd tonight can only be matched by the clap of thunder created by one man, the Bolts organist. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska watched in awe as the musical genius went to work. The Bolts are an amazing team, but every amazing team has to have someone playing music, and that is why they have one of the best organists in the entire league, and I would argue the entire world on their side. One of the kind. The sound system is absolutely powerful. For 10 seasons, high atop his perch with a bird's eye view of the rink, Christoph Serbrakowski's serenaded, inspired, and wild. With the joy of a child, the veteran musician gets lost in his music, snapped back to reality with a single strike. Thunder is the signature sound effect on the organ when Serbrakowski channels his inner Zeus. With the thunders, there is a story because they recorded the actual thunder strikes during our storm season. Each of them is different. You never know which one is going to pop out. So that gives you the effect of the authentic thunderstorm. The kid in me wanted to hear them all and Serbrakowski delivered. This theater organ has classical theater organ settings. Like a mad scientist, Serbrakowski walked us through the organ, his brain like a supercomputer. Five keyboards, pipes, and, and all settings you can possibly imagine. So you have everything memorized? Pretty much, pretty much now, after years of performing, I have a lot of, lot of settings, 25 times, 125 different settings of sounds. Decades of muscle memory keep his hands gliding across the keys, his feet dancing below. So that's classical theater organ setting, but I can imitate any instrument. Acoustic guitar, for example. Electric guitar. Hammond organ. String orchestra. Acoustic piano. Cathedral organ. Synthesizers. With some electric piano. Depends on the setting, depends what I want to play. Or, if I want, drum sounds. Stuff like that during that the is game. Phenomenal. Yeah, it's so, phenomenal. I composed a lot of uh, orchestral pieces that I play in a big moment. Songs like The Blades of Steel. A favorite. Fans are sure to hear. Oh, the players love it. It's wonderful, especially during the game when you have 20,000 people cheering for the team. It's, it's absolutely great, wonderful, wonderful feeling. Wow, and our Michael Paluska joins us now live. Michael, so much respect for him. That was incredible. And the organ is really a staple of Amelie Arena. I mean, it, Lauren, he is so amazing. And being able to film him, was, we got lucky because we did it right before game one's official watch party. Uh, of course, I didn't run all the way down here. I'd be soaking wet from the heat outside. <laughs> but the songs he's able to play, <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. And I played uh, one of the full songs for my two-year-old daughter when I was logging the video, and she loved it. She had me playing it over and over and over again. So she'll be a Bolts fan for life, especially Kristoff. So here's the bar here. We're at Cigar City Brewing right across from Thunder Alley. A lot of people are starting to show up now and pack this area. And what's nice about this is that you can have a beer, uh, you can get some food, and you can do the watch party and come in, cool off, use the bathroom, and do all those good things. So, you know, Cigar City Brewing does it right. They got their tap room open. They got their high voltage beer 
which is uh, brewed specifically for Amelie Arena, uh, and it's really going to be a great night tonight. We're going to be here all night. Uh, I will just be drinking some water and some other things, and I won't try to sneak any beers up to Jameson and Wendy. We'll keep it calm, and uh, we'll root for the Bolts. Lauren, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Beluska, keeping it calm and classy, and the Bolts, yeah, we're going to win tonight. All right. Our Quest for the Cup coverage continues all the way until puck drop tonight, and remember, we are your home of the Stanley Cup final. You can watch the Lightning take on the Avalanche for Game 4 right here on your ABC Action News station.